Elevate Swamiji, my friend Raju Malhotra, and uh, Mr. Valdina Ayakam, and my another friend, Arvindan Nilagantha, and dear brothers and sisters. See, I know Raju for a very long time. So there is something in him to take up this task. I always knew him as an intellectual with a sense of arrogance which independence rests in an intellectual. And so many people used to fear him that he can be very offensive when it comes to truth and he can tell the truth as bluntly as truth itself can. And so I'm extremely happy to participate in a function in which this book is being released. See, this work is long overdue. There have been a lot of efforts to expose the kind of uh, machinations that's going on to pervert our nationalism, pervert our past, pervert our great heroes, pervert even our spiritual personalities like Thiruvalluvar. Questioning is Thiruvalluvar a Christian? And the entire Saiva Siddhanta is being perverted as a byproduct of Christianity. You can understand the extent of damage that this kind of perversions can cause in a society in which there is no organized effort to counter these things. We are not an organized society and that is our strength. We are not an organized society and that's our weakness. Organized societies collapse and collapse very easily. Societies which are not organized like us they do not collapse, they decay. <laughs> so we should not allow our society to decay for want of initiatives. You know, this society which was never organized, in the sense in which organization means in the West particularly, it had an organized mind. It was organized around the idea of dharma a non-formal moral order. We had millions and millions of gods, but we had only one idea of divinity. This kind of organization is unknown. We have survived. We are great survivors. But we don't want to be merely survivors. You see, a rising India should be aspire not to be just survivors. This idea of organizing India was not around a person, not around a king, not around a god, not around a spiritual personality. It was around the idea of dharma. That's why this country is incapable of being shaken up because that idea can never be shaken up. Every king, every spiritual leader, every movement has always strengthened this idea of dharma. But the secular India has demeaned the idea of dharma. But secularism in the sense in which it has been understood in the West has been drawn into our public discourse and it has distorted the mind of India. So if you have to recover the mind of India, if you have to make Indians to understand themselves and relate themselves to the past, and without dividing themselves, without injuring themselves into diverse groups, which is the effort that is happening in particular, the Dravidian movement has been a product of a, an imperial conspiracy to divide and dismantle India. They couldn't succeed physically, but they have succeeded psychologically. The recovering process needs to be initiated because the physical, political structure which the Dravidian philosophy yielded is decaying today. And this is the time we must launch a psychological counterattack. And I'm extremely happy Rajiv has taken this initiative. And Arvindan Nilagantan, his associate, is very much involved in this process. And the event today, it's a small event. But it is the seed idea that is getting generated here. Any idea is a seed idea, whether it is destructive or positive. Here is a positive idea which is being seeded here.